Hello everyone, welcome to Science Fiction 365. I hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to start a new topic. The name of the topic is What is Variation? Now in this video you can see many students are sitting together. What difference and similarities did you observe between yours and the person next to you? Basically students, variation is the difference between members of the same species. Humans are all members of the species called Homo sapiens, but our characteristics still vary. Try to identify the difference between the children in the clip. Variation between individual of the same species varies due to either genetic causes or environmental causes. The grapevine, for example, grow due to having a good genetic makeup means is genetic make it disease resistance. Second one is receiving a good amount of sunlight. Now in this picture, there are two girls, Pony and Penny. They both are identical twins. This means that their genetic makeup is exactly the same. However, they still have differences. For example, Penny have a scar on her elbow from a fall. Now students, the data we collect about the variation amongst members of the species can be continuous or discontinuous. What type of variation could it be if we collected data on height, arm span and foot length of a group of a friend? These are the examples where the data we gather will consist of values ranging from maximum to minimum. We call this continuous variation. And data of continuous variation are presented using lines or bar graph. We typically draw a line of best fit through them. What is normal distribution curve? Data on continuous variation gives shapes to a bell-shaped graph, also known as normal distribution curve. Humans follow normal distribution. For example, most people have average height, while fewer people have height at their extreme. What type of variation will it be if we collect data on eye color, blood group, hair color and ability to roll tongue? Data we collected from these traits can be grouped into distinct labels. We call this discontinuous variation. This involves traits that are either present or absent with no intermediates. In examples of discontinuous variations such as hair color and the ability to roll your tongue, a person can only belong to one category. We usually plot data of discontinuous variation using bar graph since these are distinct groups. There is no need to draw a line of best fit. 
blood group is an example of discontinuous variation the variation of four blood types a b a b and o varies in population throughout the world look at the chart to determine which blood group is the least common world wide what example of continuous and discontinuous variation will you expect to find if you survey your class let's have a small recap variation is defined as the difference between individual of the same species some variations can be divided into distinct groups we call this discontinuous variation However, some variation can fall in a wide range of values. We call this continuous variation. That's all from today. I hope you have find this video informative. Please like, share and subscribe.